Lock up your daughters, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Joe Biden could be president of the United States. As sad as it is, uh, unless Donald Trump does something in December, December surprise, um, we're going to end up with a Joe Biden as our president. And um, I want to examine the question, who is Joe Biden? My answer is, he is a cipher. Stick around and listen. The report from Tiger Mountain. Who is Joe Biden, ladies and gentlemen? Well, you know, I mean, obviously, um, you know, for many years, I mean, I guess I'll talk about my interpretation or my my feelings about Joe Biden. I mean, when he was vice president under Obama, I didn't particularly hate the guy. I mean, he didn't seem, I didn't really know much about him. I'm sure many of us didn't. He was a bit like Pence in the sense he was a kind of, you know, second man or whatever, uh, you know, and um, I never looked into his biography much and... Uh, you know, he seemed like a kind of a, a centre-left, you know, old guy who was, you know, kind of personable and spoke in kind of little, you know, cliches. I mean, the cliches he uses now, like, look, here's the deal and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. He used those then. And at the time, I didn't feel that um, opposed to him. It was only when uh, it became apparent that they were going to run him in um, 2020 that I began to really look into uh, Joe Biden a bit more. And obviously, the thing that really first creeped me out about him was... This video from Paul Joseph Watson, who I love. I'm sure you all love Paul Joseph Watson. You've got to watch his videos. And his uh, videos of late have become more complex. And he's using, you know, they kind of become more philosophical. So he's fantastic. Anyway, he did this one called Creepy Uncle Joe, which is a compilation of all, you know, Joe Biden basically um, groping and and sniffing the hair of and, and, you know, doing all various things with, you know, I mean, not just women, usually uh, young girls. Um, some are teenage girls and some are like six to seven year olds, eight year olds. So it's very disturbing um, what he's doing there. And, um, you know, I mean, if Donald Trump had done anything like this, I mean, this would be all over every news media service. But for some reason, obviously, because media sides with Biden, this has been covered up. But, you know, I mean, that kind of creeped me out about Biden. And then, you know, I began to find about about his son, obviously, Hunter. We heard rumours of corruption. We heard rumours of him, you know, his son working in Ukraine. You know, he seemed to be doing a pay for play. There was no actual proof at the time, a couple of years ago, for example. Obviously, we did receive proof recently and media just ignored it. But, OK, let's, you know, let's pull back even further. Who is Joe Biden? You know, he's basically, a, in my opinion, a cipher, which is really a funnel for the, you know, the powers that Donald Trump has been fighting. I mean, this is, you know, who is one. If, if Joe Biden ends up the president, make no mistake, this is who, you know, the powers that Donald Trump has been fighting are fully in charge. And, then it, you know, all this stuff with QAnon and, and stuff that, oh, you know, everyone's under mass arrest. I mean, please give me a fucking break. It'll be, it'll, Donald Trump will be incredibly lucky to hold on to the presidency. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not taking down, you know, 10,000 deep state criminals. I'll tell you that much. And, um... Uh, unless there's some miracle that I don't know about, but that seems like incredibly unlikely, like space aliens landing, you know, in, in on the uh, White House lawn, kind of unlikely. But, um, you know, he seems to be a cipher for these deep state powers. And, you know, I mean, he seems to be like a placeholder president who could be like an operative for Obama. So in a sense, we could be seeing a third term of Obama and also for Hillary Clinton, who's been appointed to the United Nations. And obviously with the globalist kind of worldview that our country should eventually be run from the United Nations under the kind of Great Reset kind of thing. And it's interesting that Hillary is being appointed there. So in a sense, we could be in for, you know, what the election we missed out on in 2016. So I think, you know, he's a placeholder. He's, as David Thrussell said recently, he's someone who always says yes. He's going to go along with the, um, you know, the status quo, you know, the, the basically the, the same vampires who've been running the American government since you know George H. W. Bush got in after Reagan basically in 1988. So you know it's going to be a, back to the status quo. You know, and I think that's really what this has all been about, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, you know he's been making some of his appointments. He's made some very kosher appointments with Ron Klain as his chief of staff. Um, you know, obviously, the chief of staff is going to basically appoint most of the people, so he's made a very kosher choice there. And uh, Anthony Blinken is going to be like the new Secretary of State, so it's going to be lots of wars for Israel and uh, lots of other globalist wars all over the place. Um, Dick Cheney has been um, uh, brought on, um, unbelievably, as part of the uh, transition team, which is no surprise and should tell you exactly what's going on right there. Dick Cheney, ladies and gentlemen, please.
Give me a break. And um, oh, John Kerry is going to be like the, you know, the czar, for the green czar. So, you know, they're going to be bringing in probably not the Green New Deal, but like, you know, something like a, a combination of the Great Reset meets the Green New Deal somewhere in between there. Maybe with a little centre lift, uh, you know, sprinkles on top to maybe make it not quite so devastating the economy. So I think that's what they're doing. I think that's who Joe Biden is. Um, there's a great video online that... Um, uh, Tucker Carlson has done where he examines this question. You, know, you should check that out. But I really think he's a cipher and he's incredibly dangerous. Um, but it looks like we could be in for him. And it's, uh, it, as I've said in a few recent videos, dark days uh, are with us again, ladies and gentlemen. So you know, that's it. Report from Tiger Mountain. Thanks for listening.